This mountain range in the west of Austria marks a border of sorts. Looking east, the icy peaks of Tyrol spread to the horizon. To the west lies the province of Vorarlberg, once part of another continent. The rivers of this mountain send their waters to oceans far apart, the Black Sea and the North Sea. Up here, land cultivated for centuries borders on raw wilderness. The Arlberg? Actually, there isn't any particular peak or crest or rock formation of that name. The term Arlberg Pass is a modern invention. The region thus named could be defined by its major villages. St. Anton, St. Christoph, Stuben, Zuers, and... Back in the mountains above the village of Lech, there's a strange landscape feature, fully revealed only from the air. Like discarded egg cartons, some 1,000 craters top the surface. The biggest of these dolines is 100 meters across and 35 meters deep. It was created by a special form of erosion. Water made the gypsum in the rock expand. The surrounding rock crumbled and was eventually washed away by the rain. In the winter, this landscape with its many edges and craters and its labyrinth of snow-covered Swiss mountain pines is a perfect hideaway for wildlife. It's a permanent haunt of ptarmigans, together with chamois. They find food in places where small avalanches have exposed the ground. Avalanches, in other words, not only bring destruction and death, but also opportunities. Without them, the snow blanket would cut off the animals from food for many months. Potomacans can make do with very little, digesting even small, tough branches and getting the maximum energy from their frugal diet. Overnight and around midday, the birds bury themselves in the deep snow to escape the wind. Winter in the mountains can be tough indeed, but when it's really cold and the air is clear, the frosty season displays its full glory. Fresh snow has covered the heights, sending the chamois downhill to sheltered places. Days are getting longer and the sun is gaining in strength, quickly loosening winter's grip. trickle and murmur of water is everywhere. Water and warmth bring to light the first messengers of spring. Snowbells shoot from the thawing ground. These flowers are perfectly adapted to the extreme conditions up here. And beneath the snow, something is moving.
the marmots have awoken from hibernation. For more than six months, they slept in their burrows, depending on their fat reserves. Now it's time for a hearty breakfast. From its hide, a ptarmigan is watching. Further down the slope, a black grouse male on a lek is trying to attract females. Any intruder on the lek will be confronted. The intruder seems to respect his rival's superior strength. The rocks where ibex are resting today are echoes of ancient continents. The history of the ibex may be much more recent, but it's just as dramatic. In the Middle Ages, these animals inspired a mystic imagination. They were believed to have magical powers. Almost all parts of their bodies were used as medicines. By the early 19th century, the ibex was practically extinct. Only in the Gran Paradiso Mountains in Italy some 60 individuals survived. Under the personal protection of the Italian king, the population was allowed to recover somewhat. But when Swiss authorities asked for some animals to rebuild a Swiss population, the king declined. Switzerland then sent a group of poachers to kidnap some ibex. Their offspring now numbers 30,000 individuals in the Alps.